Welcome back to East Media Studios. I'm your host, Adri Catania, and let's get right into this week's announcements. This year's Teacher of the Year is Mr. Derek Chastain. He has been an essential part of the BCSE staff and a committed teacher with students describing him as a teacher who loves his job and always smiling. So from all of East Media, congratulations, Mr. Chastain. If you would like to stay up to date on all BCSE news, make sure all information put into Parent Square is accurate. Please double check that all Parent Square information is up to date. If you aren't already on Parent Square, please enter your information carefully. Students and parents can do this through the app or the website. Links can be found on the BCSE page. A quick heads up for those registered to take the PSAT. The test is on October 8th for juniors and October 9th for sophomores in the room C110. Study up and be ready. Now we head over to East Media's Grayson Scott with this week's weather news and forecast. In the southeast, Category 4 Hurricane Helene made landfall in Florida last week with devastating results, ravaging through the area and up into several other states, including Virginia, Tennessee, and the Carolinas. Millions of households are without power and essential supplies, with over 100 dead and hundreds more still unaccounted for. Road closures are making the transport of supplies near impossible, as well as evacuations. Local governments are declaring a state of emergency, with lingering storm cells promising to make recovery even more difficult. And in local weather on Wednesday, it will be sunny with a high of 74 and a low of 44. On Thursday, it will be sunny with a high of 79 and a low of 51. Lastly, on Friday, it will also be sunny with a high of 83 and a low of 51. That's all we have for this week's weather. Now back to you, Advika. For seniors, the community service documentation for the Governor's Work Ethic Certificate is due by Friday, April 11, 2025, in your team office. For more information, check out the GWEC resources on your team Canvas page. Seniors planning on attending the Indiana University of Bloomington should consider signing up for the Wells Scholarship. Two outstanding seniors who plan to attend IU Bloomington will be nominated for one of the most prestigious scholarships they offer. Students who have an outstanding GPA and are interested, please complete the interest form on your Team 2025 Canvas page. This week's homecoming themes ha days have been on fleek. The theme for today is pink out. Tomorrow's theme is PJs. And then finally on Friday, the theme is white lies. A friendly reminder that the dress code still applies on top of the themes. Now we head over to East Media's Crispin Meredith with Columbus Esports updates. Thanks, Advika. The Columbus East volleyball team will compete against Seymour at 5.30 p.m. on Thursday. Next, boys JV soccer will compete against Franklin Central at home at 6 p.m. on Thursday. Later, the girls varsity volleyball team will compete against Columbus North at 7.30 p.m. On Friday, varsity football will compete against Bloomington North at home at 7. On Saturday, boys and girls cross country are having an HHC meeting at 9 a.m. Freshman football will compete against Bloomington North at 10 a.m. Boys JV competes against Jefferson at 11 a.m. JV football will compete against Bloomington North at 11.45 a.m. And finally, boys varsity soccer will compete against Jeffersonville at 12.30 p.m. That's all we have for sports. Now back to you, Advika. Heritage Fund is inviting all BCSE families to join Love Where You Live celebration on October 5th in downtown Columbus for a fun-filled afternoon. The event starts at 2 p.m. and will include youth activities, artist demonstrations, food trucks, and live entertainment. That includes a Taylor Swift tribute band plus a dance party under InterOculus. For more details or to support this campaign, visit Heritage Fund, uh, heritagefundbc.org. Team 2025 staff is taking a group of seniors to visit Indiana University, Indianapolis. Anyone who would like to take a part in this awesome informational day, please fill out the interest form on your Team 2025 Canvas page. For any further questions, contact Mr. Emanuel, Mrs. Hinton, Mr. Sims, or Ms. Pellegrino. But for seniors planning on doing individual visits, head up to Ms. Pellegrino and grab a senior visit form. Make sure to get some awesome merch and 
from the college visit and show Ms. Pellegrino. Now we head over to East Media's Alexander Nymphis with this week's news. Thanks, Alderica. A major chemical lab explosion broke out on Sunday morning, forcing everyone in the town of Rockdale County to evacuate. The explosion caused lots of harmful chemicals to be released into the sky and around 90,000 people had to leave. The path of the harmful chemicals stretched a long pathway originating in Georgia and spreading all throughout the state. Residents are advised to leave and get far from the explosion site. Be prepared for shortages and rising prices. Monday night, almost 50,000 members of the International Longshoremen's Association went on strike against the nation's east and Gulf Coast ports. This is predicted to be the country's most disruptive stoppage in decades. The workers are searching for a better pay and job security against automation. Until an agreement can be reached, the strike will, will stop the flow of a wide variety of goods. In state news, police in Breach Grove were dispatched to a teen's house where she was later shot dead. Investigators are still not sure of what has happened since they have not started an investigation on the case. That's all we have for news. Back to you, Adviko. That's all we have for this week's announcements. For myself, Grayson, Alexander Crispin, and the rest of the Torch TV crew, I'm Advika Denia, and thanks for watching. Remember to take care of yourself, others, and the place. And as always, try to be the best part of someone's day.